we're going to make peanut brittle, the easy way. And you need a lump of butter about that big. And you need your fire on, I think I hadn't cooked on the stove before. <clears throat> on the gas flame, I turn it about a four or a five. All right. Not too high, medium high, or medium, medium high on an electric, I guess. I don't think. Okay, since <clears throat> my peanuts were frozen, so this might make a difference in the amount of time that it cooks that it takes to do. But you use <clears throat> the same amount of peanuts as sugar. In goes a cup and a little bit more, a rounded cup of peanuts. Mm -hmm. And I need a rounded cup of sugar. And in it goes. And you're not supposed to make messes like I do, but nevertheless. That's all the ingredients you use except for one teaspoon of soda. One teaspoon baking soda. Have it ready. Best to work close to a sink so you don't have as much. And where's the thing that you're going to put it out on? I'll have to get that. You, you should do that first. If you tell me, I'll get it. I believe it's right down there. I use the pizza pan. No, it's in this tall one right here. Standing up towards the back. Oh, towards the back. Well, I don't see it. Well, it may be in the pantry. I'll go see. Let me start. But it wasn't, wasn't beginning to melt yet, so. This is the uh, Remy Quick Release Pollock. Oh, that way you don't have to butter your pan. Okay, it's ready. And you just have to wait. How much? Baking soda did you have? One teaspoon. One teaspoon. Okay. Roger made, uh, what kind did you make? Coconut? Do you put something special in it? I put in. Yeah, it was coconut. I did coconut. And that is unroasted pecan. Uh, Raw peanuts. peanuts. Yes. Yeah. Raw. You turn that up a little bit. It's not cooking fast enough to suit myself. But if you get it too high, then your brittle will be dark, dark brown. Mmm. And burn. The lighter, the lower the flame, the lighter the brittle will be. Oh, okay. The longer okay. it takes to cook it. Okay. <clears throat> and it burns in a hurry when it starts to finish. But it's not in a hurry yet. But it never ends up sticky when you do it this way, like it does when you double boil it, does it? I don't know. I, I don't. You don't have a sticky brittle. brittle. You don't not ever usually. make sticky brittle. It doesn't usually stay long enough to me to find out if it's going to be sticky or not. When you get through with it and and let it set to cool enough to break up. Put it in an airtight container or a plastic bag and it should uh, get the air out. It should be good. Okay, camera, look right here. It's beginning to melt around the edges. Actually, all it does is melt the sugar. And while it's melting the sugar, the peanuts part. I always made it in an old iron skillet because that's what my mother always made it in, that's what she taught me in. But I've discovered these bigger bottomed pans, it cooks a little quicker and more evenly, because it's not, you know, 
spreads out. Mm -hmm. See, it's beginning to melt in the center, you can see. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're gonna fill her, Jane. Here's a teaspoon of soda. Okay, Mr. Roger, move to the other one. Mm -hmm. Right over there. Once you put the soda in, that's when it burns. Without the soda to make air bubbles in it, it'd probably break your teeth to eat it. You know, it forms a brittle, no matter what. But it would be so dense that it's too hard to eat, I guess. Now, it just remains, I can pick it up and put it on there a little bit. It just remains to cool. And then the hardest part of the recipe is waiting for it to cool. That's right. I don't know, 15 minutes? 13.57. Okay. No, it was about 12 minutes cooking, stirring and mixing and whatever. And then it takes about 15, 20, 30 minutes to Okay. Okay. Not yet. Not quite yet. Not quite yet, but it's working. Needs to cool a little bit more. And go. We have waited with great anticipation. The cracking of the brick. I'm not sure that it's ready, but we'll try. But I don't. That's perfect. Crack it into bigger little pieces and eat away. Here, Diane, here's another. Oh, good. See? Oh, on. Does she ever make you some with that? How to make your own, do you? Don't give me that kind of look. There you go. Voila, a peanut brittle. Ooh, uh, there's one. Absolutely no calories. I took them all out. In the hand of Carol Ann. <laughs> the claw. <laughs> See, Diane, here's a big one. <clears throat> Mm. Right there. It's got lots of no nuts in it. That's good. Lots of no nuts. Mm. That's a good one. All right. Mm. Very brittle. Mm. And if you want to pull it out with your fingers, you can get it much thinner. But be assured that it will burn you. Mm. 